Hi and welcome to Fairy's Food World. Today we will be baking berry chocolate donut. Now you can use any kind of berries you like. This is going to be gluten free, vegan. So let's get started. I have two groups of ingredients in the first group which is going to be our donuts and the second one's going to be our glaze so here are the ingredients we'll be needing i have one cup which is about 120 grams of oat flour you can use store-bought or just use regular old-fashioned oats and grind them in your blender which is what i did half cup of cacao powder you can use unsweetened cocoa powder as well two teaspoon of baking powder half teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of vanilla powder, that's what I'm using, but you can use vanilla extract, two teaspoons of baking powder, half teaspoons of salt, half cup of maple syrup, which is about 160 ml, and I have half cup of almond butter, which is about 125 grams. Now you can use any nut butter of your choice. Three fourth cup of milk. I am using coconut milk. That is what I have on hand. You could use almond milk, any milk of your choice. To begin with, I am taking coconut milk, maple syrup, almond butter, making sure everything is blend together. I'm gonna start adding our dry ingredients. Oat flour. Baking powder and salt. Vanilla powder. powder Just make sure everything is well combined okay the batter is well combined now I'm going to take a glass and a ziploc bag Place it over. And put the batter in. I just find this method to be more convenient. Okay, I have my donut pan greased. In case you don't have a donut pan on hand, you can use the same batter for muffins. It's uh, perfectly fine. All right, I'm gonna cut off the bottom of the bag. Now you can always use a tablespoon I just find this more convenient using a bag. My oven is already preheated at 350 degree Fahrenheit. I'm gonna place these in there for 10 to 15 minutes. It depends on your oven, or you can just use a toothpick method where you insert the toothpick until it comes out clear. So here are the ingredients for the glaze. I'm using strawberries. You can use any berries of your choice. These are about one cup, um, 180 grams, one tablespoon of lemon juice, and two cups of powdered sugar. 
Now for powdered sugar, if you don't have any powdered sugar on hand, you can always use your blender and just grind some sugar. That is what I did. To begin with our glaze, I'm going to take the strawberries and blend them, make a puree out of it. Puree is all ready. I'm gonna set this aside. Take the sugar. And lemon juice. Try to take about two tablespoons at a time of the puree. mix it until everything is well combined now we need to keep this thick but drizzleable this looks perfect it's been 15 minutes and I let these cool down for 10 minutes now I'm going to flip them on the cooling rack so they can completely cool down okay it's been about 30 minutes since I had the donuts on the cooling rack they're completely cooled down now we're going to glaze them gonna take some chocolate chip this is optional if you like this is it our gluten-free vegan berry chocolate donuts are all ready these are soft delicious they melt in your mouth the strawberry and chocolate combinations is just amazing I hope you give this recipe a try do let me know what you think in the comments below Consider subscribing to my channel if you have not. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like what you're watching. For more videos like this, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.